Today on the Cassady Stance Podcast, a VTuber group has disbanded. An agency potentially looking for new members soon-ish. YouTube has updated their UI and more. As you heard in the title, intro, a VTuber group has unfortunately disbanded. I am Cassady Stamps. I will be uh, commentating today's episode, like all episodes. Etheria, formerly consisting of VTubers Iakushi Chapipi, sorry if I butchered that, Alcamilla Menace, Omiya Emma, Inami Yoki, Momozora Sena, Utano Pandora, Vera V, and this one having left well before the dissolution, in fact, shortly after it formed, Kurohana Inori has disbanded following allegations involving Vera, who also promptly disappeared. Now, the links to this will be down in the description. However, viewer discretion is advised, which is why I'm not going to talk about it on this show. Having happened on the 28th of October, this is less than half a year after they rebranded and reorganized from the agency or company known as CyberLive to the independent group Aetheria. A little over a month prior to said restructure, Talon's Kaneko Lumi and Maris Yuri graduated from CyberLive, with the plans originally being to become independent VTubers. However, some time between the announcement and the actual graduation, or leaving the company, Phase Connect hired them. You'll hear no further information on them. They are perfectly in the clear here. Now, while I have no reason to believe that the source is lying, I do have to point out that jumping to conclusions, jumping the gun, is not a good idea. If you have heard of Enigma SMP, a Minecraft survival multiplayer server, it shut down around a year ago after founding member and admin Wandleboy was accused of a certain illegal activity that I am not going to mention. Just recently, the investigation was reopened, and the jury, which, mind you, does not actually exist, I'm just saying it figuratively, found Wandle not guilty or innocent. Now, all the talents, apart from Vera, are continuing at, as fully independent VTubers, so please do support them if you are over 18. Now, a bit of the platform news. YouTube has updated their... YouTube has updated their user interface. It is much rounder. Like pills, actually. Not sorry. They have added a background to several UI elements, although not the bell. Update. Ow. They've incorporated the bell into the subscribe button. I still don't like it. The subscribe button is now white with gray text until you subscribe. The bell is the same as it was! And everything else is gray with white symbols slash text in dark mode. In light mode, the difference is that the text and the sub button are black. And it's very reminiscent of Discord and Twitch light mode, which suck. Now as for the change, Surprise, surprise, I do not like it. I want the red subscribe button and blue join button back, please. Actually, never mind. No, please. Give it back, you... Yeah. I prefer the rectangles. I don't like the pills. And I don't like the added backgrounds to anything. Come on. It looks much cleaner without. This, of course, happened right after... Twitter ruined their user interface with dumbed-down elements, but at least they didn't add backgrounds to things. Now, one thing I do actually like about the new UI is the uh, stream uptime counter. Or, well, started streaming such and such minutes ago, or hours, or days ago. It now updates. Previously, you had to refresh. 
Oh yeah, by the way, that stopped working as well. Also, I did have screenshots of the original UI change and the Twitter UI change on my MSI laptop, but I stupidly killed that by messing with it while it was live after smashing the screen on the radio because I'm clumsy and dropped it. Also, due to time constraints, I am splitting this episode up. Episode 21 will not have news, but it will have all the other stuff. Okay, this is me from way in the future. Yes, <laughs> this episode's long overdue, so I'm adding a bit of new news. Three VTuber graduations. I'm sorry for that wave of sad news. Bree at Cookie Box had her final stream on the 12th of February. Halting streaming VTubing to pursue live TD rigging full time. You see, the thing is, she was way too busy to do both of them, and live TD is her passion. And so she made what I'm sure was a very difficult decision to stop with the VTubing side of things, at least for now. Mind you, I do not see her as the kind of person to put ungraduation off the table entirely. And who knows? Now, pretty sure I was actually in her streams twice, including that one. And yet, it hit me hard. I'm having a hard time talking about it right now. A wave of emotion is washing over me. I'm still recovering. And she's even still active on Twitter. And she's even in her fan discord that's run by her mods. She was a major, major player in the VTuber scene. And yet the saddest thing, I've seen no news coverage on her graduation. We have another one. This one I know is also going to hit hard. Tsunari announced that on April 1st, their VTubing activities would cease. Will cease. And no, it's not an April Fool's joke. While it hasn't happened yet, I know this one will also hit hard, but she doesn't have time for it, and he has confirmed that they're likely to come back, and will still be in Discord. Don't even need to move Discords. Also, yes, they do go by multiple pronoun sets, in case you hadn't noticed. And finally, Nunky Arca from Amber Glow announced that her VTubing activities would cease after February 26th, 2023. So take it away, because I can't cover it anymore. I've been now uh, thinking a long time about this. And, uh, um, I would like to announce that I will be uh, graduating next week on uh, Sunday. Hi! Hi, that no more? We'll be graduating! Hi! Please, please do not be sad. Please do not be sad because for me, it's a very, very big step in life. I'll be uh, leaving behind Emma and Nunki. Hi! Nunki will no longer be here. Is it because Emma has done something? Oh man, I mean, um, no, no, I'm just, it's a personal decision. Many things have happened recently in my life, and, and I just got to a point where it's like, you know, maybe it's better to move on. And until then, before, uh, until I have the uh, graduation stream with someone that it's on the uh, 26th, I think it was. Anyway, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I should probably turn this on. That is all I have for you today. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Maybe subscribe, maybe even ring the bell. But anyway, this has been Katie Stamps. Cheers for watching. I'm out of here.